Hello again and welcome back to my channel, Mommy for Five Griffins. Today we're going to do a after dinner kitchen cleaning. And um, I'm starting a little bit later on this, but um, I haven't done a cleaning video in quite a while. And I knew it was time to do another. So I'm sorry for the delay. And my son fell asleep on the couch, so shh, we don't want to wake him up. Um, I lost a lot of footage with the um, loading my dishwasher, so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm, I've rinsed all the dishes and I'm loading my dishwasher, so yeah, bear with me. I had to get rid of a lot of the footage because it was just too dark. Um, I had the camera in the wrong position and it just wasn't working out. But... I tried to save as much footage as I can so that I would have it to share with you so yeah <clears throat> I, right now I'm cleaning up my sink getting it all shiny and new and filling my dishwasher with detergent and I love my dishwasher oh my goodness and uh, if you guys don't know I use a lot of reusable so um, the kitty litter bin I just rinse those suckers out and put my cat food in there it keeps it fresh longer I don't have to deal with the heavy bag and my kitty loves it As usual, my stove was nasty, y'all, so it had a lot of grease and grime and all that nasty stuff, so I'm just wiping it um, free of the debris and the, the stuff that's in there. And if you haven't seen any of my earlier videos, I love using a pumice stone. It's natural, it doesn't have any chemicals, and it's easy. Um, the key to it is to have your surface wet and just let the stone do the work you don't have to rub you don't have to grind you just lightly go across it and it will come clean do you see how clean that burner top was oh my goodness it was it was like new again 
and I'm doing the same thing with my burner with my burner there's a lot of dirt and grime and you know you know you get grease build up um, around your stove and as you can see from the stone the stone was mighty dirty but all you got to do is run it underwater and it's clean all over again and like I said you just you don't have to rub and you don't have to grind you just lightly go across it and the stone will do the work for you it will take all of that off and it will leave no scratches whatsoever you don't even have to apply any pressure you can use this on your stovetop inside the oven um, I use it on the grill sometimes as well I, I use it anywhere that um, I can that, that I need it at it actually I use it in the kitchen and I use a separate one in the bathroom <laughs> it's good in your bathtubs and to in toilets it's good on porcelain and sinks it'll remove rust it will it, it removes so much lime scale and everything so if you haven't used a pumice stone try it it will change your life Now I've got my floors all sparkly and clean and it's a good night. I can get ready to go to bed and not have to worry about a kitchen in the morning. Look at that shine on that floor. Oh, I love it. And just wait till I lift up this, this rag. I use microfiber for everything. So all I got to do is pop it in the washer and it's back good again so thank you for watching guys and like subscribe and comment